my plan for today's video was to show you guys a pre jujitsu stretching warm up when you get to the gym early. But I got to the gym half an hour early and it still shuts because my coach is not here yet. So whilst I'm in the car park alone, I'm going to start my stretches and then I'll get changed and finish them on the mats, hopefully. jiu-jitsu I was so unflexible so immobile I couldn't even touch my toes with my hands when I bent down and touched my toes I couldn't even get my full palm past my knees I was that inflexible but what I did is I just stretched like a crazy person before jiu-jitsu after jiu-jitsu and now when I'm fully stretched I can get my hand fully flat on the ground and my goal is to get a full fold over when my chest is completely on my legs and eventually one day to be able to do the splits A lot of people say they can't do jiu because they're inflexible and immobile but not many people start being flexible when they first begin a lot of people become more flexible over time because they put in the effort and they put in the time to really stretch in order to build that flexibility So these are just some of my exercises that I usually do before class, after class. There's some others that I didn't add in there because the workout would have been too long. I didn't have enough time, like my wrist stuff, a few more things on my hips, my calves, a bit of ankle mobility, the little isolated stuff that I didn't get time to put in there. But there are a huge chunk of exercises that I can add. But this is just the basics that I do every session. Awesome jujitsu session today so you probably noticed that in my video that I'm wearing like a sleeve with tape on it on my arm and the reason for that is because I actually burnt myself yesterday with coconut oil so coconut oil one tier zero so the reason why I just covered that up was because it's really sensitive still because it is a burn and I'm a little bit worried of if there's staph or something on the mat of getting another staph infection because if you have a staph infection you're off the mats for at least a week and that is not a fun journey especially when your whole body feels fit and healthy and ready to train and you're not allowed to train because you got an infection so just cover things like that up whenever possible. <laughs> 